worse if he pursues the route that he has seemed to telegraph of executive orders, particularly on the issue of immigration. Yeah, that's coming. That's going to that's going to cause an explosion. Where, where I think the weeks. president and Democrats have misread the immigration issue is the assumption that everybody uniformly is behind from the Democratic uh, side of the equation amnesty. That's not true. Uh, most people, frankly, most Americans all across the board oppose amnesty. And what's complicated this issue for the president, where he has to be very careful, is ISIS and the fact that in South America today are terrorist training camps from radical jihadists. We know they exist in the tri-border region between Paraguay, Argentina, and Brazil. They have land access to our southern border, and this is no longer just an issue about reaching out to the Hispanic vote. This is an issue of national security. So if the president uses executive order to, to ram it through, he's going to do even more harm than he currently he's has. He's got another done. problem, though, and it's competence. Right now, the country thinks he is not competent. He is a foreign policy. looks like a deer in the headlights. And I, I, we mentioned, you mentioned Eric Iran. We're going to have this problem. They are almost about to give Iran a nuclear weapon, trying to get them on our side. It's just, it's amazing. And I think the problem for the president has been in this election, not just we're not happy with his policies. He hasn't looked like he's running anything. He's got a real challenge. It's more than vetoing bills or whatever. He's got to show he can lead this government because people aren't pleased with the way it's working. And it's, it's a matter of national security. The way they don't like Congress either. Yeah, yes, in this country, as, as this, the, it looks like there'll be another delay yet again with the disputed nuclear program with Iran. You're right. And I think that's part of the issue. The problem is there's a leadership vacuum on both sides. Everybody's disgusted, and it doesn't right. seem that it's going to get any better in the next All couple right. of years. So it's going to see which side which side is going to do slightly better, although oh. no side is going to do well. That's, really that's just whether there's another answer. Pat Cadell, we first of all, thank you so much. Thank you. Pat's been on the thank air you. since 5 p.m. Eastern, by the way. <laughs> and Tony Sayeg, it was great to have you three on. Now, go to bed. Great to have you here. <laughs> you so much. You're dismissed.